All right, hello everyone, long time no see. So it is um, a workspace tour, a proper one, because we deep clean the apartment. Oh, it's not focusing. <laughs> there we go, all right. Um, we like super, super cleaned up the apartment and organized a lot of stuff and it took us many hours. So I wanted to point out, you wanna say anything? No. Oh, I'm okay. Fine. Okay. So yeah, we'll start here. This is a mess, but it's an organized mess. So here is where I have my watercolors that I don't use often and old badges from conventions I've done. Here are where I've kept all my old sketchbooks. This is for all of my sticker makings, sticker making slash my print stuff. This is my sticker paper. I use sticker paper from online labels. So before anybody asks, online labels. And then this is just normal label paper. Also from online labels. This is some sketchbook binding. That's cardstock. And then I have some basic, just computer paper. And here's where I keep all my charms currently. Um, I will be upgrading to a different charm setup, but for right now that works because uh, I don't have a lot of charms on my shop. This is my husband's D&D section, so these are all of his D&D books. Down there is my cash box. And then I think these two, yeah, these two are just junk, junk drawers that we put stuff in. This is some shipping supplies and my small button maker, because I have a small one for this thing. So I have a two uh, and a half inch buttons, and then I have uh, tiny one inch buttons. Here is a, if it will focus, focus, there we go. Uh, here's where I have my giant set of a hoo hoos some sketchbooks, and a paper cutter. And then here is more packing supplies. It is very dark, but... I have a cutter, I have some envelopes, stuff like that, and then down there are where I store my sketch, uh, my stickers currently. I'm moving to um, an index cud, uh, index cud, an index box method currently, and uh, I will eventually, again, when I get more designs and I outgrow these for the binder, and for that, I will eventually go get some proper storage. Here is more button parts. This is for the two inch button parts because they are very, very big. All right, so we have got it fixed. Yeah, we're gonna hang up that in a bit. Got the thing fixed. So now let's do the desk, the main, the main tour. I was currently in focus. <laughs> um, so this is where I do most of my work. So this is my laptop. I don't remember the type. We got it back in 2019. I just know that, uh, oh, it's a ROG Zephyrus, I guess. Uh, and then here is my Huey on Canvas GT15, 20, I think it's the 2018 model, it could be the 2017 model. Um, it has so many dead spots that it is now just a second monitor. I, I don't use it anymore <laughs> for its intended purpose, but it's a nice second monitor. Here is my keyboard, everybody asks me where I got it, I got it off of Amazon, I typed in a uh, gaming typewriter keyboard and that's what popped up and it's got like different settings for things. So, yeah. Uh, it, was, it was nice, it was cheap, it was affordable. I was currently working in my sketchbook when I was like, you know what, it's so clean, let's do it now. So, this is my sketch, my current sketchbook. I'm, you know, Five Nights Freddy's. Uh, here is my watercolor palette. This is my most, my most uh, common used one. They're all filled with core watercolors, Q-O-R, before anybody asks. Um, yeah, so that's what's in here. And then uh, we are going to move over to this. This is where I keep my headphones and then my iPad where I do all of my artwork. My iPad is a 2018 or 2017 refurbished model, but I think it's 2018. Um, got it in 2019 and I do all of my artwork on this thing. I love it. It's great. Um, I'm keeping it close to have some personal information like on the inside because it's got an envelope pocket. And then when I draw, I either draw with it um, on my old Huey on um, stand or I just uh, use it flat. Under here is my Soren, or Soron, however you say his name, uh, for Magic the Gathering uh, mat that I bought a thousand years ago and I've never used it because none of my friends play Magic anymore or just don't play Magic. So. I'm sitting here and I've had this mat and I never get to use it. So I'm like, you know what? I paid for it. I like it. I want to use it. So he's now my mouse pad. Uh, these were just some of my pens. And so then we are going to go over. 
Here is my Blue Yeti that's always giving me trouble and is mean. These are just disinfectant wipes. Pencil sharpener, little cubby hole that holds some important things. Salt candle lamp. Uh, my desk guardian, the guardian of the desk made from my friend Pixie Sculpts. Uh, his name is Reginald and I love him. He's got like a little, he is the desk guardian. And then we have a Foxy, um, cause we have nowhere to put him right now. <laughs> uh, and then I have some dice, dice, and then a D and D dice. And then in here we have my Otaku Sense Doki Doki jars that uh, I burned through and cleaned out and reused as cup holders because they are amazing cup holders. And this is just a rehealing cut map. Uh, again, I used to have it this way, but it always got in the way and I never used it, so I just moved it over here for when I'm going to be doing some cutting things. Um, because other than that, I, I like the glass. And so in here we have random pens and Sharpies, in here we have all of my mild liners, in here we have all of my paint brushes because I'm currently on a watercolor kick and I get into like moods for with my art. And so in here are all of my inking pens and pencils and just all of my blacks. And um, I took them all out of my pencil cases and I'll show you when I go in there because that's the big chungus. Um, I'm only going to pack pencil cases when I go somewhere because I do a lot of my sketchbook stuff at my desk anyway. And this is uh, some moon water that I made a long time ago. Uh, this is a bag that we don't know where to put with, <laughs> but um, it was filled with a bunch of mini dice. So yeah, it's the halflings half a sack. And then we have my computer glasses. So I wear this when I'm drawing for a long period of time or I'm gaming or anything because they have blue light, but they also have um, protective stuff for my retinas because uh, I, like many a person, have astigmatism. And I picked a job where I stare at screens all day, which is really bad for your astigmatism. So this is a business card for Tabletop Witchy because under it is my health insurance card. And I'm really happy that I blocked this out because that would have been fun. Um, just a glove, my uh, driving glasses because I am legally blind when uh, it's the too bright out. We have some lotion, we have a kiwi chain, we have some sticky notes, my little pads, my little paper ASMR here, other random notes. And then we, oh, my old tripod that is pretty much just decoration at this point, where I have charms that I've gotten from friends and the like. And then uh, this was a birthday gift because Shindler is my favorite Pokemon chain. And then uh, we will have my art wall. So I have a Seferalu print because I really like Seferalu. This is her older version of the Zodiac Witch. My collage wall. Um, I have more art that's going to be coming up and hanging up here. But this is what we have currently. Most of it's fan art of my characters or my husband's characters. Like there. Here. Uh, there's, there's a baby. There's one of the babies that Holly Brown has, you know, left in my house. Here we go again. Sorry about that. The zoom is broken in my, my house. So then we have artwork of my husband's characters, more fan art and artwork. The glare is mean today. Uh, more fan art. My, my, uh, pin wall. I am not that big of a pin collector, but when I do get stuff, they're mostly all crate pins. I slap them on there. And then we have a tapestry of the lunar cycle for 2021, which means I'm going to have to take that down soon because it's not going to be 2021 anymore. A print I got from Ashley Zombie because I won her giveaway. Hi, it's me. I won her giveaway and I was amazed. I've been a fan of Ashley Zombies for years, so I literally screamed when I won it and I got the prints. So big happy, big excite. I'm very excited. We also have another one hanging up in another part, but... Very big, big, nice. And then my friend, um, I'll have her Instagram link down below, but she does, she got into, uh, patchwork and stuff. Uh, patchwork, what am I saying? Uh, I can't think of the word, cross stitch, yeah. And so she made me this for my birthday last year, and I love it, because if you guys didn't know, Trick or Treat is my favorite Halloween movie, and one of my favorite movies of all time. So now let's go to this bitch. So behind here we have... A Xander that I got a long time ago because he was my first Fire Emblem husband. Uh, we have a standing mat because I was going to get a standing desk. Never ended up using it. Uh, well, it's wrong. I do end up having the standing desk that they sent me a long time ago, but it's currently our TV stand. So 
yeah, but this is the mat. It's a really good mat, so I want to just keep it so, you know, when I can. There's some light boxes, because I never really use my light boxes. And then here we have a salt lamp that my cousins get me. In here are some jewelry, a stamp pad, some Aleve, allergy meds, some lotion, uh, my little nail care slash medicine cabinet, some here, some nasal spray, I have a corner cutter, uh, I have my old Art Rambles mug in there, some hand sanitizer, a hairbrush, you know, just, just the essentials. So we're going to put you back there. And then we have my really, really old tripod, where this is still good and I might use it for other things, but for right now it's just in the way. My bag of washi tape, because I was packing orders. And then in here, we have, uh, this was my Sketch Scout thing from, uh, buying from Casey Golden Shop. These are cellophane bags for when I send out mini prints. These are going to be little portfolios that I'm going to have where I'm going to put my prints in. That's just some Tylenol. In here is where I cut my paper. This is dirty, but I'll clean it, um, obviously. This is for my mystery misprints. Uh, I print it off a lot. I cut them down and I make them into little envelopes for when people buy my mystery stickers or my misprints. Here is a random pen drawer slash just essentials. This is, well, those are old charms. I have a lot of lighters, highlighters, some rulers, sewing kit, sewing kit, washi tape, sewing kit, backup hard drive. Uh, this is more just random things that I need. Wow, another lighter. You're going to find a lot of lighters in my house. I don't smoke. I just really like candles. And I often misplace lighters and nail clippers. So that's why they're in many places. This is a notepad I bought off of Vexing the Yours's shop. I love it so much. I don't do a lot of personal thank you notes anymore, but when I do, I use this paper. Here are some ACOs. Here are a bunch of just index card sized, like little mini white cards. I've always been tempted if I ever like wanted like throw like do originals that aren't in my sketchbook, I would do them on these and just throw them up on my shop. So they're really good and nice sized. Another backup hard drive, a book with all my passwords in it, because I don't trust autofill in or myself. And so here we have my pin backing cards. So whenever someone buys a pin from me, uh, this is what it looks like. I bought a bunch of them because they're just nice little backings. Because I'm slowly working on getting more pins in my shop. Uh, I currently only have one design active, but I'm going to get more. A bunch of the paper clips, some eyeglass cleaner, a uh, dip pen, and then a really old pencil case. And then these are notes and tabs for when I read manga or books that I like, for things I want to go back to, or panels I really enjoy. I just It was cheaper to buy a giant set, so I just have a giant set of sticky tabs, some hair ties... A bullet journal, a little um, clippy. And then in here is where I will keep my current pins. Like I said, I literally only have one design in my shop right now, which are these. Really like them. Um, I plan on getting more acrylic pins uh, because enamel pins are very expensive and you need to order a lot. So I really don't think I will get enamel pins anytime soon. But I really do like the acrylic pins. So yeah, that's where these are going to go when I get more. And then just more pin backing. This is for when I'm, I do ink wash or uh, watercolor, paper clips, hole punch. And then some very important, very important desk buddies. My Elucid White Worm that someone at a con gave me, and I've never seen a white worm since, so they stay there. And then this was also that same con, so I just like to think that they are like siblings and I can't separate them, so they stay and protect things. Also, this 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 little cabinet... I have had this cabinet for many a year. Biggest mistake of my life. But you know what? You got to make do when you live on a budget. Uh, everyone and their mom freaking had these. They had this one or the rainbow one. Obviously, I wanted the monochrome one. And no matter what I do, no matter what I've done, these screws always get loose. They always fall apart. Again, one of the biggest mistakes of my life. And it's why a lot of people had a bunch of these back in like 2010, 2012. But, again, I have it. It's storage. You gotta make do. But that's why they just, like, fall apart. And uh, before anybody suggests something, I've done all of it. None of it eventually works. So, this is my catch-all. Because you have to have a catch-all just random drawer in, like, every kind of workspace. And that's what this is. Like, I, I'm literally not gonna go through that. That's just a bunch of random stuff. 
And then in here um, is currently, wow, look at that, nothing. So <laughs> I'll probably keep, like, if I want more desk space or something, I'll probably keep my sketchbooks in here or something. These are currently my tarot cards. In here we have a bunch of my old pin stuff. This is some personal stuff. These are parts for, well, that's that's a, a boba card. But um, these are a bunch of parts for my Nendroids. So they're all nice in there in one baggie. These are back when I used to make my own charms, and I still might, so I have just a bunch of the supplies. This says Twilight, because yes, it is Twilight. Um, I bought a bunch of really nice covers because I don't own the books anymore. <laughs> I gave them away years ago, but this person made beautiful covers for them, and I'm like, you know what? Why not? So I bought it, and I have it, and that way I know not to throw those away. And then I have just some wires, more jewelry making slash charm making stuff. Well, there we go. And then in here I have uh, packing supplies and mini prints. And then down here is a bunch of watercolor paper and then my future sketchbook once I'm done with the current one I'm doing. And then this, this is a really big... Uh, like clipboard it's it's huge it's got two of them on it i got this back when i was taking art classes in high school and i love this thing but i never have an excuse to pull it out so it's one of those things where i'm happy i have it i know it will get used someday but for right now you just stay in the corner and then to top it all off the bottom part of this because i realized i didn't show it so this is a really old traveler's notebook this is full of just inventory stock and tax stuff because I'm a boomer, and I like doing everything on paper. I just stay more better organized that way, even though I'm a, I'm a millennial. But yeah, so that's what this all is. This is just inventory, stickers, ideas, and tax stuff. This is my bullet journal. It's my current one. Um, I kind of fell off of it for a bit, and there's not a lot left in it. So I'm going to do that. Under there is Ticks and Turns. This is where I finished all of it. This is another paper ASMR. This is where I have a lot of notes. When I do you, I forgot I had addresses at the top, so uh, if you saw that cut there, that's why. I didn't want to dox people. But yeah, YouTube notes, close. Um, and then this was a commission I got from Pencil Butter like a thousand years ago. It's a cute little notebook. But because Cleo's on it, I realized I don't want to use it because I have Cleo on it. And it's really, really cute. So, yeah, and then under there's another light box that I never use, but there's that. And then here are all of my Prismacolor pencils, or pencil crayons, if you call them, like, everywhere else. Uh, because I bought them on sale, and I have nowhere else to put them, and honestly, it's better it's here than on the floor, because at least if it's here, I know they exist, and I might use them. So, yeah, that is my current workspace. This is where all the magic is made. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to do my best to keep it clean. There's my cat. Oh, and there's my fan because it gets really hot. So I like to have a fan either here or on that side for all my stuff. And then from over there, my husband cleaned it up recently. Um, I have my punch out for my big buttons. And then I have my brother's skin and cut where if I don't hand cut my stickers, I use that. I mostly use that. I only hand cut if I have, like, a single order and I need, like, one sheet done, because that's not that bad. But anyway, yes, there we go. There's my workspace. This is where I do everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I like watching workspace tours and seeing how people think. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye